Anarchism has long been a controversial and often misunderstood political philosophy. Some view it as a radical ideology that seeks to overthrow the established order, while others see it as an unrealistic and utopian dream. But what exactly is anarchism, and is it really a form of political utopianism? At its core, anarchism is a political philosophy that advocates for the abolition of all forms of government and the establishment of a stateless society. Anarchists believe that government, by its very nature, is a source of oppression and domination, and that true freedom and equality can only be achieved through the complete abolition of all forms of authority. But is this vision of a stateless society truly a utopian dream, or is it a viable political alternative? Critics of anarchism argue that without a central authority to maintain law and order, society would quickly descend into chaos and violence. They point to historical examples of anarchistic societies, such as the Spanish Civil War and the Paris Commune, which they claim were characterized by anarchy and lawlessness. However, anarchists argue that these examples were not truly anarchist societies, but rather flawed attempts at creating such a society within the context of a larger state. They contend that a truly anarchist society would be based on voluntary cooperation and mutual aid rather than force or coercion, and that without the constraints of government, individuals would be free to organize themselves in ways that best meet their needs and desires. Moreover, anarchists argue that the state, far from being a guarantor of law and order, is itself a source of violence and oppression. They point to the long history of state-sanctioned violence, from wars and colonization to police brutality and mass surveillance. Anarchists argue that without the power of the state to legitimize and enforce violence, individuals would be less likely to resort to it in their daily lives. But even if we accept that a stateless society is a desirable goal, is it really achievable in practice? Critics of anarchism argue that human nature is inherently selfish and competitive, and that without the constraints of government, individuals would inevitably turn on each other. But anarchists counter that this view of human nature is overly pessimistic and ignores the many examples of cooperation and mutual aid that occur in everyday life, from neighborhood watch groups to community gardens. In the end, whether anarchism is a form of political utopianism or a viable alternative to the current political order is a matter of debate. What is clear, however, is that anarchism challenges us to question our assumptions about power, authority, and the nature of society itself. It reminds us that the status quo is not inevitable, and that we have the power to imagine and create a better world.